someone misuse and abuse the fourth reason why calamities befall men this is an instruction that God gave me to teach this misuse and abuse misuse and abuse misuse and abuse it was dr miles monroe of late who said when the purpose of a thing is not known abuse the word abuse comes from two words abnormal use many people have abused opportunities they have abused doors relationships to their detriment today misuse and abuse please pay attention many families today are suffering because of this abuse and misuse it was true with the prodigal son it was true with the sons of eli remember the sons of eli hophni and phinehas abuse and misuse will always bring depletion as i was meditating on this it really dawned on me how true this thing is abuse and misuse do you know i submit to you there are many families today with all due respect who should never be begging for food to eat with the kind of people that god brought to their lives but they abuse privileges are we together yeah the manager gave you one of his car and said be driving abuse misuse gave you a house you did not pay for be staying there abuse and misuse gave you an opportunity gave you his atm card and said help yourself you return back with a bill of over one million abuse and misuse people go to the restaurant and they say just eat anything and they say hmm, oh, this this is my opportunity abuse and misuse please listen and learn many people today have abused opportunities my uncle is said the moment you see that you are surrounded by great people but not affected by their greatness there is abuse somewhere there is misuse somewhere are we together now yeah. there are people who have abused relationships with men of god abused relationships with their pastors abused relationships with their leaders oh it looks like my pastor likes me specially he doesn't seem to rebuke me when i'm wrong abuse misuse someone is sleeping or resting and you call him by 12 and 1 and say please can i have 30 minutes discussion with you because i donated 1 million to the church or 2 million to the church and you see pastors business people there are those today who probably would never have gotten to certain offices but maybe by leverage and they got there and the next thing they will just call the director of the company and say you don't know me i heard when you were dictating your number to the other person wow i'm amazed you even picked my call sir you are a very great man i've seen your face around the paper and the man said who is this and cuts that call and because of that you and all who are connected to you suffer indefinitely abuse listen and learn please many people have abused their relationships with god because God is merciful and compassionate. Many people have abused their relationships with men. Many people have abused the laws of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I've made it as a point of duty that anything God gives me that is valuable to my destiny. Number one, I will never become familiar with God, his presence, his people. Number two, I will make sure that anything that is an advantage in my life is worth my protecting. Did you hear what I said? Anything at all. If this phone is useful to me, then I must protect it. If this Bible is useful to me, I must protect it. If my spiritual life is useful to me, I must protect it. Abuse and misuse. So many people, sadly, including our loved ones, will tell you, you know, this guy on the TV, do you know that this was my friend? Do you know that we used to eat in the same plate? What changed and what happened? Abuse and misuse. Hallelujah. Abuse and misuse. Oh, remember we were classmates in primary school. I hear you're a director now. Ah, ah. Oh boy, let me give you five. The, the, the classmate then is not your mate now. You call it classmate. Are we together now? Very bad manners that you see people exhibit and they miss out on many things. 
they believe every president in every nation was their classmate and their friend and because of that they want to just bounce into maybe also rock or anywhere unfortunately yesterday is not today you must learn to adjust yourself to the reality of the moment are we together now yes abuse and misuse there are many people who have carried entitlement mentality and destroyed their lives destroyed everything God has granted me the honor and the privilege of access and relationship with some of our fathers and I vowed before the Lord that I will never abuse that privilege never never abuse that privilege can I tell you every time you are around a great man a great system be careful because the tendency for abuse is closed have you seen people like that children abuse their relationships with their parents this great man is my father and when they get to points where they are teenagers and the rest when he's giving warnings and talking to other people they exempt themselves after all is my father is the reason why the parents will leave an inheritance for the house helps not the children Every time I approach God, I don't approach God as a man of God. I don't approach God as Apostle Joshua Selman. No, I am still that boy that you have found. I have come with humility of heart. Correct me, build me. And God says, I've lifted you like this and you are still like this. Let's go to the next level. For someone, God is giving you a secret. Why many great people have left you. Why you are alone. You are not rising and they are not helping you rise. Abuse. You have abused privileges. Two businessmen will sit down and be discussing, for instance, transactions worth billions. And because you happen to be the caterer, you are listening to a discussion you have no business listening to. And in two days, you have called everybody. Wow! So this man has money like this. I have, there are things I know. And that abuse closes doors in the secret and in the open. Drivers have lost opportunity. All they have done was to drive great people for years with all due respect and they never received anything because they feel I know this man. All his conversations, all his transactions, how about house helps and all of these people. I'm the person washing his clothes. I'm the person doing all of these things. I want you to kill the cancer of familiarity from your life. Please believe me. I know what I'm saying. The moment you become too familiar with people. Oh, Olu of Wari and his wife. Let's, let's honor them. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yeah. The moment you put yourself in a position where you abuse and you misuse opportunities, that door closes forever. My question is, what door opened before that is now closed? I can tell you there was an abuse and there was a misuse. Hallelujah. The man promised you that you always pay your school fees. You just call or you send a text. Sir, it's time or send. You see that? What does he say? It's time. That's how you announce to someone who is doing what probably your loved ones could not do. How much is the school fees? 2.5 million. And you are telling him it's time. Oh, something you may not be able to raise in one decade of your life. Every time God puts people around your life to show you unusual kindness, don't act as if it is something you would have been able to do. Are you learning now? God grants me grace I cannot give myself. I will roll on the ground and say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I would not have done it by myself. Hallelujah. This man who has 20 cars, all that he gave me was one small golf to start moving around Abuja with. You mean this, this man, what is there? I've seen him buy things for strangers. And me, I'm his direct father's younger brothers, sisters. All, all that is stories. Nobody owes you anything, let me tell you. Get used to it immediately. No. Everything done is an act of kindness. And if you don't appreciate it, life, will, you will recycle your pain again and again. Hallelujah. With all due respect, and, and I say this with every sense of humility, there, 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 I tell you sincerely, there are people whose calls and text messages I don't even respond to. I've never known them. I don't know them. Your first approach, you need me desperately and you need me at your terms. You are joking. 
I'm anointed and humble, but not stupid. Humility is not stupidity. Are we together? No. Don't send me a text and say, meet me so so place or see me. Who do you think you are? What do you have? Politician? How many years? No, come on. Are we together? Don't do that. I'm teaching you many people are... It's not like God cannot bring you out of calamities. Most of us have not learned. We don't understand honor. We abuse and we misuse relationships to our detriment. We abuse and we misuse things. Someone gives you his car to travel with. You promise to return it after two days. And before you know it with that car, the first shock is that the car is all over social media. Come and see what God has done. And the owner of the car is saying, what in the world is happening here? The second shock is that you veer off and go somewhere else. The third shock is that you return the car. You don't even have the wisdom to fuel it, to say thank you or wash it. You return it with the mud from your village and pack it and drop the key. And then you are not even there to say thank you physically. I know this is hard, but just, I love you. Just listen to me. I'm teaching you how to come out of calamities. Hallelujah. Oh, do you know that I met, um, I met um, Daddy Gio? I'm telling you. I shook him. I even touched his shoulder. And then I met Bishop Wedeko. I, these guys are not, I, I, there's nothing special about them. Oh, can you imagine? And while you are saying that the realm of the spirit is hearing you, that means you have closed the door to that realm of greatness. They don't have to speak against you. I'm telling you, this is how it works. Every dimension of greatness in the kingdom has a grace that takes men there. And the moment you dishonor the men, you also dishonor the grace that lifts men there. Are we together? This ordinary pastor, what is there? I'm sure that this pastor's wow, he's just, just lucky. And then you now say, Father, grant me grace. It will not happen. God is not a... Say, Father. Amen. One more time. Say, Father. Amen. I obtain grace Amen. to not abuse Amen. and misuse Amen. opportunities. Amen. Hallelujah. For some, maybe you received an opportunity. Someone called you and said there is an offer for a job. Are you interested? 400,000, 500,000. Wow. That's a great testimony. Okay. Apply very quickly. I'll wait in my office for you. And the person is watching a movie forever. Ah, I forgot, you know. And the person has been praying and fasting. God, give me a job. Here is someone trying to risk his or her reputation. And you do not mind. And he says, is it that nothing can be done? And by next week, you go around saying, all these people don't help. Church people don't help. And they say, but I waited for you. Let me teach you three ways to protect everything God gives you. Three ways. Are you learning? Number one, pray. One of the ways you keep anything God gives you is to pray for it. Opportunities. If I don't pray for koinonia, it is because I am not willing, I'm not placing value on what God has given. Pray. Relationships, pray. Resources, pray. People, pray pray number two I taught you last week let me repeat gratitude you protect anything and you avoid abuse by learning gratitude number three become an active contributor to that overall process whether it is men whether it's principles hallelujah a great man gives you two million to go and start a business let me teach you what to do Take 50,000 out of that 2 million and buy, even if it is um, a pack of wine, go back and tell the person, thank you. Are we together now? Yes. Go and say thank you. Say it again. Say it again. You will schedule seasons of grace beyond your imagination. I'm telling you this. There are things you may not ask for that the people will now say, what else can I do for you? Is someone learning? And then there are moments in your lives, let me teach you, for no reason, reach them and say thank you. Don't just say thank you at the point where kindness was shown. For no reason. Wake up one morning, wake up one night. Senator, sir, 
I just want to say thank you. It's one year since I got this job and I know that it was by God, but it came through you. I want to say thank you for your thoughtfulness. The day you now hear that, God forbid, Senator's mother goes to be with the Lord. Make sure your text is also there to say thank Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I heard that this has happened, this has happened. I may not be in the position to comfort you, but just to let you know that we are, you are in our prayers. Will he reply? No. But did he see it? Yes. Is someone learning? Yeah. Abuse and misuse. God granted you grace. You did not pray for one month, yet doors kept opening because God forced somebody to lose sleep to keep interceding for you while you discover it. You abuse the opportunity. There are many people who don't pray. They say, ah, Koinonia is a powerful ministry. You don't worry. You've not gone to our prayer department, that's why. You've not seen apostle pray, that's why. And God says, there are things that only your understanding can bring you establishment of those victories, but abuse and misuse. I'm praying for somebody here. Whatever opportunity you have abused, whatever resources God gave you, men gave you, some of you here, listen, before I even pray for you, this just came to my spirit. Please sit down before I pray for you. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people here. He once opened doors of financial resources. It was abuse. You were not yet established, yet a false life, trying to be a big man, a big woman. Hallelujah. And you plunge yourself. What God gave you was a seed. You didn't plant it. You ate your seed. In the kingdom, we don't eat seeds. When you eat seeds, you rob the ground of an opportunity to bring more. Hallelujah. Abuse. Maybe you are a man of God. One day God opened up doors for you. And you were in the midst of men of God where sincerely, based on your level of work, you should not be there. You abuse the opportunity. Everybody there was greater than you, both in the spirit and by the experience of ministry. But all you were concerned about was snapping with every father, not receiving the graces they carried. Oh, let them just know that I, I met Papa Adeboe. Let them just know that I snapped with Papa Kumui. And we use it to pride in ourselves. Can I tell you? Every time God opens a door, don't use your hand to close it. There are some of you right now, after this service, you need to start building back certain bridges you have destroyed. Call that CEO woman. She may be temperous, but she has access to almost everybody within the economic space. Don't downplay that. It didn't come by luck. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Let me surprise you. Some of you need to call even your own parents and say, thank you, daddy. I was born from a rich family. I don't want to take it for granted. I've seen my contemporaries suffer, you may tell him. But thank you for having the grace to even be able to do this. There are many people who destroyed their lives before 11, before 12. Now you have granted me grace to have a smooth path to my destiny. As soon as I was born, by two years old, I was born again. By four, I was filled with the Holy Ghost. You made me a church girl or a church boy. And that's what has made me responsible. I am 22 now and I'm about to buy my own house. I want to say thank you. Don't abuse relationships. One day, take the time to send a text to any man of God who has changed your life. Don't keep receiving alone. Mm -mm. Thank you. I'm not saying this so you do anything for me or no. But I'm teaching you as a principle. Thank you, sir, for teaching the word. Thank you for doing all of that. Yeah. Are you learning? Abuse and misuse. And more importantly, some of you after this service, you need to go and kneel before God and say, who but you is able to lift me? I never imagined I'll be able to survive 2023 because I came into this year without a job. I still do not have a job. But look what your mercy has done in my life. The same trouble that plagued all of us. I came out, but my friends died. Thank you. And God says, in the midst of this world of ingratitude, you can do this to me. Let's go to the next level. God, I've been talking to you about this issue of marriage. Is it that I'm not beautiful? How did you create me? And God says, you will remain there in that kind of, with that kind of attitude. Thank you that I'm alive and sound and not in a rehab. The person in a rehab is not thinking marriage. 
the person in the rehab is thinking survival how about some cancer patient with stage four cancer and they are still saying thank you jesus can i tell you we live in a world where always prides in seeing the things god has not done and you forget to see the things that he has done is someone learning tonight this i'm emphasizing this because it's one of the greatest reasons Hophni and Phinehas, the sons of Eli, they had an opportunity and joined the immunity of priesthood to take some of the portions without looking at it. Whatever they brought out was their blessing. And this boy started checking to select carefully and God was watching. You see, let me tell you something. The consequences of abuse does not show immediately, but I assure you for as long as God lives, one day it will catch up with you. Hallelujah. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget, Lord, your faithfulness. How can I forget, Lord, your benefits? I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget, Lord, your benefits. This is what I tell him. Oh, when I'm with him, I get down my knees and I say, my Lord and my maker, look at what you have done. May I never get to any place. I'm telling him now where I forget you. Can any man lift you when God has not lifted you? Can any door open for you when God has not authorized it? I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. Let me not forget, Lord. Your benefits, I will never forget, Lord. Your benefits, he said, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The question the Lord is asking you today is, Who has the power to help you and has refused to help you because of abuse and misuse? Have you abused opportunities? Have you abused relationships? Have you abused doors? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Number five. Mm. My glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Remain my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. try this ladies and gentlemen use even if it's a few hours sometime this week and don't ask for anything just roll before the Lord find a way mention things mention people mention doors mention opportunities you do this as an experiment and watch what happens to you forget about what you think he has not done what men has, have not done what is not yet there thank him for what has happened Lord, I thank you for life. I recovered from this infirmity. You took away shame, quarter to shame. My family would have been left as an object of shame and mockery. And look how you came in gallantly. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. 
Hallelujah. Are you ready for number five? The fifth reason why people experience calamities 